Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. I really don't know why I keep inviting him back. He's a dear friend of mine, my brother from another mother. And yes, a conservative, Shelly Winter, who decided to join me last time, talked about my suit and my shoulders and, and other stuff. Uh, Shelly hosts uh, 95.5 WSB, one of the uh, more listened to stations in the country. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful, Doc, but that's because you made fun of my checkered shirt. <laughs> By the way, that my wife Christmas, so that's why I had to defend my wife's Christmas. I, I get it, I get it, brother. It's all love, man. So today we're, we're going to talk about, and I, I've been wanting to have this conversation because I think the Colin Kaepernick saga has become lost in our narrative of social justice movement, Black Lives Matter. But we also got to talk about BLM um, because it has been a significant force, not only uh, in our local city jurisdictions, but also how we converse about social justice. So let me first start with Colin Kaepernick. Was he wrong, brother, for what he did? No, I, I've always maintained, even as a conservative, I've always maintained I didn't necessarily disagree, agree with the kneeling. My position on the kneeling from Colin Kaepernick from day one was it was the wrong. PR move in order to accomplish what he was trying to accomplish. That's always been my position, brother, um, in that I always felt that targeting the national anthem was not a way to draw attention to that which you wanted to draw attention to because you welcomed the uh, the anger coming at you from the very people that you wanted to bring to your side. Um, but I have never, I've always maintained on all my shows that the kneeling didn't bother me. I didn't stop watching football because of it. I wasn't a hater, nothing like that. I always felt from a PR move, um, it was a, it was an opportunity. You allowed, you allowed the people that you were trying to convince of an issue that was going on in the community. You allowed the uh, opposition to come in because of that which you went after, uh, which was the national anthem. Let me and tell you why I disagree. Let me tell you why I disagree with you. I think it was a great uh, move outside of the realm of PR. Now you can look at this and say it was a very bad move for his personal public relations status. But look at what was accomplished because of him kneeling. Uh, brother, allow, allow me to finish. Oh. Because, Sorry. because of his okay. kneeling, the NFL who fired him de facto, okay? The NFL donated millions and millions and millions of dollars to social justice movements and nonprofit organizations. They then recruited Jay Z, all right? I can debate all day, all day about how effective Jay Z has been, but they literally started to recruit black talent in order to become catalyst for social justice movement and money to move towards certain arenas in Chicago, Detroit, New York primarily. So it was because of that protest and then the NFL on opening day, remember brother, they played the black national anthem. Uh, and then the regular uh, version for the rest of the country, I guess, which was really silly to me, because because the you know lift every voice and sing is is like a Black Freedom song, right? So <laughs> they said sing this Black Freedom song, sing this Negro uh, Freedom song, uh, but let's still deny Negroes freedom. It, it was really ridiculous to me how that kind of worked out. Uh, Colin Kaepernick. Has been justified, still never received his employment back in the NFL. But I want you to look at it from this point of view, brother, because you have to admit that there were so many people on the right, especially led by Donald Trump. When Trump made this about the military, Trump made this about the flag, Trump made this about America. And it wasn't about that, it was about being true or being authentic to what you say you are. And I think that's a good notion. This was not about kneeling. Let me put in your mind this, if Colin Kaepernick would have been kneeling to bring more attention, more awareness to the lack of funding for cancer research, he would have never been blacklisted by the NFL. If he would have taken a, if he would have taken a knee after making a, let me finish. If he would have taken a knee after making a touchdown, which by the way is routine for those, for many, who are considered themselves Christians who score a touchdown. 
Uh, they think somehow Jesus has something to do with that. And so they'll take a knee uh, and they'll pray. And nobody had an issue with them taking a knee, even though technically it has always been against the rules, just not enforced, right? So brother, you gotta see the irony here that a man who took a knee, the most peaceful protest uh, you can engage in being vilified primarily by those who are connected to your political side. And, and, and what do you say to them on the right who tried to make Colin Kaepernick a villain in the story of the movement? Dude, dude, first of all, sir, we're on a great platform. You have a great show, very intelligent people watch. You must have just said about five different things all contradicting each other one by one. And Tell I'm me which one. Well, well, let me finish like you said. First of all, you started with how he's the one that created the, uh, the, the basically the tagline of the NFL now is Black Lives Matter. No, he I didn't did not. create that. I did not I, say I that. I, I did not basically say that, roundabout say that. I, I don't fact. believe that. I know that he led the NFL because of what he did. The NFL has now given a record no, amount of money. No, yes, it is true. Because the fact of a man got kneeled on for eight minutes by a police officer and universally was panned and criticized and hated by both conservatives and left about the murder of George Floyd. That's what changed the NFL's new social justice That's program. Untrue. That's untrue. That's let me show you where. Hold on, brothers. Nope. Hold nope. Hold on, Shelly. Hold on, Shelly. Let me hold play. On. Let me. Let me. Hold. Brother, I still have to moderate the discussion, brother. So right, let me go gonna, ahead. Like Roger brother. Goodell saying you should have listened to Dr. Colin Kaepernick. That's no, a that's bunch not of what trouble. I'm saying. That's not what okay. I'm saying, that's man. Come on, Shelly. The uh, uh, the decision. You won't Shelley? let me talk. Shelly, you, you just said something that's a flat out lie, and I care about the audience enough to correct it's you. It's not a lie. It's you asked well, me. My well, don't be scared. To, don't be scared to allow my correction. Now you're gonna call me to be scared? No, man, you ain't gonna do this. You asked okay. my opinion on something. Shelly, no, no that that's not an opinion, brother. You just no. stated a fact that's incorrect. You have represented a fact that's not real. Man, come on, dude. It All right, makes Shelly, no you ready? When you tell me consistently, let me talk, let me talk. Shelly, I go I'm going to go ahead and correct it, brother. I'm going to correct I what you said, uh, and I'm going to do it now. And then I will allow you to finish. Uh, when Shelly said that this only started after uh, the death, uh, the murder of our dear I brother George the Floyd. Money came after Rashad, the, the money you refer to as to the NFL giving millions of dollars to black causes and Black Lives Matter came after George Floyd. We argued for two and a half years over Colin Kaepernick. The money came after George Floyd. That's the That's point incorrect. I was trying to make. That also, is incorrect. You can't say you can't say he didn't get his flowers Shelly, or he didn't. Get his, you can't Shelly, say. As I'm going to ask you, brother, that. to allow me at least thirty seconds to respond to what you said, right, brother. Just for three minutes. I can't yeah. address what you spoke on for three minutes. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna take this opportunity as the host of the show and respond. You see, Shelly, if I was on if I was on your 95, sir, if I was on your 95.5 FM WSB conservative talk station, brother, and you said right. you needed to make a rebuttal, I would give you the respect due because I know how to be a guest in another person's home. And that would be your home where I'm a guest, brother. But so you I'm didn't gonna give me you, time. I'm gonna you give you give ample time. time. I'm gonna give you ample you time. Just cut off, you cut me off to correct me on my opinion. That's no, how you started. It's not an Everybody. opinion, Shelly. Come on, man. We ain't in the barbershop. The, the, uh, you want a suit, a tie, and you asked me a question. I went to answer your question. I started by saying one thing, and you jumped in and told me Shelly, I have to correct. It. We on have debated show. for like five minutes on just me correcting you on one point, and you but won't you give thirty seconds for that. Opinion in the middle of his answer. You can't <laughs> correct right, it's the not, man's Sir, it's not an question. opinion when you're giving out things and representing them as fact. So let me go ahead and correct it. All right. Oh. Uh, the NFL they started to engage uh, nonprofit organizations uh, and also big money donors. They this was engaged nonprofit organizations. All right, sir. They I'm going to finish. Sir, you telling me Colin, Colin Kaepernick caused the NFL to engage nonprofits? They've always sir, engaged nonprofits. Sir, the point that Unpass I'm making, 
teaching nonprofit coaches in little leagues for 30 years. What the hell are you Shelley, talking about? You need to shut the hell up, Shelly. Seriously. Oh, because no, if somebody, no. think about this, brother. If somebody was on your show, right? And they kept talking over the host, what would you do? The well, only reason I, why I, I haven't cut this interview, because you're my friend. You really need to get the hell up off the show if you don't respect you go. the fact that there I can just pause one moment, make one point, and allow you to finish, right? It, it's simple, it's easy. Okay, make, make, make the, your the point. record, the record contributions in modern era NFL literally happened one year after the Colin Kaepernick incident. Now they broke the record after that, it broke the record again after that. But the increase of funding to social justice movements and nonprofit organizations and also educational programs broke the record after Colin Kaepernick took a knee. One year after Colin Kaepernick took okay. a knee. And this was before George Floyd, it was before the murder of our dear brother. After the murder of our brother, it then increased more to another record level. And even with that increase, it was still 0.000164% of the actual budget of the NFL. It wasn't even one damn percent when it broke the record the last time. So those are your numbers, right. brother, go ahead. So, so now what was your point before about your original statement is, we gotta applaud Colin Kaepernick for being right on the issue of kneeling and how it kneeling helped Move this, uh, uh, move this bar forward to the point I was making. How the NFL basically has co-branded and has a marketing partner called Black Lives Matter, which you cannot deny based on the arguments you just made. So how is he? How did he lose in this battle? How did we as Black people lose in this battle based on what you just said? Because the percentages are too low. I would make the argument that you just made my argument that the fact is we won. You have the championship trophy. You won the social justice battle with the NFL. You want to call Colin Kaepernick the hero of that battle? Fine. He's gotten his due. He got his deal with Nike. He's gotten his money. So where are we having this discussion at? Where is the argument that we're having well, right now? Let me if ask you the questions. Let me finish, my brother. If the argument let is let me ask that you I the questions, brother. You don't you don't spew about four of them already. Let me first finish my point. I'm not done with my point. You got the questions, point, brother. So you cut me off. <laughs> you supposed I thought you were. I thought you wanted answers to the questions. Okay, you just want to create commentary. Okay, go ahead. I know nobody would ever go to your house for Thanksgiving because you're a bad host because you probably serve <laughs> cheap beer. That's treat me. Listen. So back in the you're battery. such a big. You're such a damn diva, man. You really are such a diva, brother. You. I, I love you to life, brother. But you be on that bull ish, man, and you know you do. You really are. <laughs> Question, brother. I'm answering. Just your question. let me know if you got a question for me. I'll wait till you finish, brother. I got yes, time. I'm, no, I have, I'm the member. Remember what you said. I'm the guest in your house. I'm answering your question. Your last okay. question to me was, "What do you say to those conservatives?" Because apparently, it was only conservatives Primarily. that didn't like it. Right. Primarily. Well, that's what you said. That's what yep. you said. So I would answer the same way I've always said it. The, all, the whole thing I've always maintained was, was that you could hate them, you could turn off football, you could do whatever you want, you have that right. Because those same people are now the ones saying don't cancel people. So as you go out here and tell me what do conser what should conservatives, conservatives do, they're doing it. Some of them tuned out football and never came back. Many of them, because the NFL have record ratings right now, are watching. Remember, there was a boycott on both sides of this issue. There was sure. a boycott by black people who liked Colin Kaepernick and felt he was being wrong. And right. there was a boycott by white and, and Shelly, I don't mean to interrupt, brother. I, I do have limited time on the show. We have another show that comes on right after us. Um, so right. I do get, I do get yelling, and then I'll just sit here and take it. <laughs> that's how. That's a good thing. brother. That's, literally, that's, you you have actually spoken more than me during this segment. But I will show you the video and we'll do what's called a time track. So you can see how much time you spoke, how much time I spoke. Right. The issue with Colin Kaepernick, you cannot dismiss the reality that when Colin Kaepernick, a peaceful protest of Colin Kaepernick caused the insane response from people like Candace Owens and even Donald Trump, the president of the United States. Hold on brother, allow me to finish. Because when they made the connection, a connection you don't even make, that Colin Kaepernick is disrespecting the United States military. Well, the truth is, brother, the United oh. States military, the United States military 
their actual mode, their operation is to protect a freedom. The freedom to stand for the anthem and the freedom, brother. Donald you Trump said again. he's disrespecting the US military. That's what Donald Trump said. You can't say nobody has said that. Trump himself said that. No, I said he everything about the national anthem has tied up is tied up into the flag, into patriotism, into the military. Those three things go together. So Trump if was he, right. Excuse me? Was Trump right when he said Colin Kaepernick is disrespecting the US military? I think he was right when he said, I think in his in his mind, under his opinion, he was right when he said he was disrespecting the US flag. Was he right to you? In, in your mind, your opinion, oh, brother, you think for yourself. Come on, man, don't play this silly <laughs> corner. So, so wait me. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You think you think he was wrong, right? You can't you say it, can your brother? Was Trump no, right no, or no. wrong? No, is what right or wrong? Was is Trump right wrong for saying Colin Kaepernick is waging a, a social. He said a lot of things. He said he shouldn't kneel. He said he was disrespecting the military. He said he was disrespecting was the Trump flag. Was Trump right or wrong, brother? He finished. He was selling disrespecting the national anthem by was Trump kneeling. right or wrong, brother? But was he right? Or, he was right to say it. Of course, he was right to say he it. Was do, right. I agree, do I agree with that? See, here's the point that you don't <laughs> ever get. Do I agree with him? No. Was he mm. right to say it? Yes. Mm. So here. I'm trying to make, yes. You're speaking out of both sides of your ass, brother. And you know it, I mean, every day you're getting more and more like a politician, uh, Shelly. Kneeling, kneeling is a universal sign unless you're praying, all right? He was taking a knee to protest something, am I Mm -hmm. right or wrong? Yeah, correct, that's right, brother. I'm glad you understand that. Right, if you're protesting something Mm -hmm. and it's the flag waving while the national anthem is playing, then you're protesting (laughs) the flag and the national anthem. Are you not? Yes or no? Are you anti-military for taking a kneel during the anthem, brother? Do you you beat your wife with one or your right or left hand? I mean, these are silly questions. That's silly, come on. Right, exactly, don't ask me do I'm anti-military, because you know I'm not. I'm asking, I did not ask if you're anti-military, brother. If you would listen to the questions. You would hear how they oppose to you. Is Colin Kaepernick or was Colin Kaepernick during that saga anti-military? I have no idea what Colin Kaepernick stands for on anything. <laughs> He's never told me. Okay, man. All right, brother. Has he ever said he was anti-military or not? I don't know. I can't was answer the that protest, question. Was the protest anti-military? I, I mean, damn. You, come on, Shelly. Can I answer the question? I will tell you, I'm almost positive that Colin Kaepernick probably feels the same way about the military that most Americans do. He loves the military. But to protest a flag while singing the national anthem, which he said he was doing, does make him anti flag and anti national anthem. And it is fair to say, an extension of that is that you get you don't like the country. I mean, it's a fair. <laughs> Uh, so, so let me let me respond. We got like we got a couple of minutes, brother. Uh, one of the things that I think got lost in this conversation and narrative, especially when it hit this national context, is the fact that Colin Kaepernick took a need to bring attention to a particular thing, and what he wanted to bring attention to was the insane violence against black and brown bodies as it relates to policing in the United States of America. That is what he wanted to bring attention to. This was before George. Uh, Floyd. This was before right. Breonna Taylor. This was before all of those instances. He said, we as a nation must pay attention to this because it's happening right under our nose and it is injustice in fact. That's what he took the knee for. But let me show you how slick the NFL is. The NFL, they finally yeah, come around. Let, let me finish, finish, brother. Let me show you I how slick. Brother, I'm gonna I finish thought- my point, brother, with or without you, brother. You can stay here or go. The NFL is so slick, what they ended up doing to co-op the social justice movement, they brought in Jay-Z. They tell Jay-Z to tell folks, uh, this is not about kneeling anymore, we've moved beyond kneeling. Now I want you to remember, this was about bringing awareness to unarmed black and brown folks being killed by police, right? That's what the kneel was about. They come in, the NFL comes in, they co-op Jay-Z, they co-op this person, co-op that person. And what do they do? They do concerts and they raise money to contribute to educational programs in Chicago, Detroit and other places. Now, educational programs are great. 
I have no issue with educational programs, but that's not what Colin Kaepernick took a knee for. He took a knee right. for the social justice issue of unarmed black people being killed by the police. Something the NFL did not address. They did a pivot. They said these are safe nonprofit organizations that do not deal with the social dynamic and the social dilemma of unarmed black people being shot and killed. It was a trick from the beginning, brother. So I'm right. probably with you on the fact that the NFL co-opted the movement, changed the focus of it, gave a bunch of money to other noteworthy organizations while ignoring the reason Colin Kaepernick took a knee in the first place. Okay, so let's go back to what you said originally. So Colin Kaepernick should be celebrated or not? We're moving the NFL to something that the NFL has co-opted and not even focuses on anyway. So Colin Kaepernick's still a hero. Let me understand that's what you yeah, said. De so definitely, brother. Let, let me tell you why. I got I got what we got two minutes. You just took one. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna respond to that. No, 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 uh, absolutely. Brother, 30 seconds, man. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Right. Go ahead, respond. I'll respond to you. Lastly, Colin the, the Colin Kaepernick's protest had to work. Because since Joe Biden got elected, I have not heard about Black Lives Matter. And oh, I have not seen a police shooting pop up in my algorithm, nor has the black left that, and black Democrats talked yeah, that, about that's it. That's a lie. Let me, let me tell you what we can show. All right, really? listen, brother, I gotta respond. I'm running out of show, brother. I have a format here. Shelly, I have stop. a format. Shelly, really? I have a format. Because we I haven't have heard of it. Go ahead and cut his microphone. I do need no, to end no, the show. Thank you, I'm brother. Done. So here's here's the reality. We highlight stories that Black Lives Matter. They are continuing to fight unarmed Black and Brown folk being killed by the police. We are highlighting those stories on indisputable damn near every single day. So they are still happening. Um, as it relates uh, to Colin Kaepernick, you're damn right. You should celebrate him just like you should celebrate Muhammad Ali, who took a stance against uh, the Vietnam no, War, even though he did not stop. Even though he did not stop the Vietnam War, his stance was still heroic. And you should absolutely celebrate men and women who take a stance for what they believe in. All right, I gotta go, brother. It's been fun all the time. Galaxy Brain is next. Remember, be good to yourself. Peace. Remember, take care of yourself. He got me discombobulated. All right. <laughs> take care of yourself. Man, shut the hell up. You like it once again, an ex-girlfriend, man. You don't listen, go. Bye. What's wrong with you? Why? Shelly, I'm a girl. Now I'm a girl. See how you do me? <laughs> <laughs>